Uh, it's hi again. Uh, good morning. It's me, Melikachu. And today I will still talk about uh, uh, some nice stuff in chess. And I'm going to return uh, and continue my pretty much previous lesson against uh, previous game against Alejandro Miras. Uh, we will still talk about substitution and defense. And today game will be uh, my game against my own student uh, Joshua Gatman. Uh, we played uh, pretty much recently uh, in some of the uh, local events uh, in Los Angeles. So I have white pieces. And this was one of my path line. And funny part, I used to teach Josh how to play the right way against this line and he actually did the same for weapon against me. So E6. Uh, this is my game against uh, many of the players and the way how he played, uh, I played the same line, same position against the uh, international master Justin Sarkar uh, at World Open a couple of years ago. Um, in that game I chose to play a rookie one, which is kind of a rare move but not exactly the best. And since then I have analyzed the position and I get back to idea to conclusion to play here bishop e2, which pretty much transposing the game to uh, to the main roles of Sicilian defense. Um, but I could try here to play, to be honest, in d 4 and still stop uh, wide development. But I, I say um, my, my position still will be better because I, I have a castle, I have a three pieces developed, so it looks like I'm still okay. So um, d6, it's normal way, uh, which transposing to normal position of Sicilian defense. We have d4 here, here. And we're still talking about some um, some Swinigan systems here. Knight f6, bishop e3, bishop e7. Okay, a4, uh, bishop e7. And I believe I had mentioned that uh, in my previous lecture. So pretty much when black does bishop d7, they want to take on d4. And then they want to play here uh, bishop c6. So it's, I would say, pretty much obligating black to, I mean, white to play here knight b3 and to save the knight and to kind of break the idea of playing bishop, uh, bishop c6. So knight b3. And I was surprised here at the first moment when my opponent played here rook c8. So I expect maybe some kind of action by playing b6. Then I was thinking, well, this pawn will be kind of weak, and this pawn will be weak. And I would use the moment uh, he's kind of misplacing his move orders by playing maybe too early we should be so. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.